And so, guys, I told a couple of people some months ago that sooner than later, they would lose their job as artists and also as landscape photographers. And this was immediately after I made the video that has to do with the NVIDIA Gaungan, where you can change your doodles into photorealistic landscape. Although this is still something that is still on that beta and it is still you know being pushed forward and with the neural or the adversarial network you are basically going to be able to change doodles into realistic images and a couple of people doubted me when i said this is going to be out for public use and they were like no it's not going to work out that way i also covered the news about this when it just came out so link is going to be in the description in case you want to check this thing out link to the blog is also going to be in the description for you guys and today we have this tool available to the public it is in beta we simply mean anyone anywhere as far as you have a browser probably a chrome browser you would be able to you know go over to the link which i'm also going to put in the description and test this tool out and between march which this news came out till now which is june you will see that there is a noticeable difference in the ui so you guys can see how the ui looks then and how it looks now i think now is way more better and way more cleaner for a lot of people to use so if you want to play with this once you go over to the link, which I'm going to put in the description, you need to make sure that you check the box to accept the terms or to agree to the terms and conditions. So what do we have here? For you to start off with this thing, you need to select one of the image, which should actually set the mood for what you want to go ahead and create. And the next thing you can do is, you know, pick up this simple brush that we have here and we can go ahead and paint in a simple rock. So I'm just going to paint a rock directly here right and use the fill tool because i have this selected and i'm going to fill this thing all the way out now see what happens once i push this button i'll give you some time to calculate and understand what's going on here it's going to analyze the scene number one is also going to analyze the shape which i've drawn and it's going to create a rock matching the water which is down here and also matching the light in here and you might be saying this is not what is going on so if i select a second image and i want to influence the light or i want to influence the style or i want to influence the look you'll notice that i'm having something different if i go ahead and select something else i'm also going to get something different you can see how the simple rock that i've just gone ahead to paint is being influenced by the image and so on and so forth and also you might also say all right if this is going on here what else can you do with this of course you have different colors which simply identifies different things that exist here so if you want to go ahead and paint some sky or you want to go ahead and paint some trees some cloud let's actually take a peek at that cloud thingy and see what happens so if i go here and choose to paint a cloud and use the fill to fill this up let's also paint a little bit more okay so we can have something like that and i'll go ahead and push this particular button it will analyze the scene just like it did for the rock and it's going to throw in a cloud okay the same the same effect that happens with the looks or the same effect that happens with the colors still happens here and this is not just the only thing you can get you can still simply use this box to create some sort of randomization okay so you can have random looks at any given point in time you can choose to play around and you know throw in a couple of bushes so i don't know maybe we can just have some bushes around here so just playing around right now to just throw in a couple of bushes around just to see what's going on and if i push this button i would actually get something like that so you can see all of this very fanciful stuff going on here so this at this point is definitely going to change a lot of things so if you're into art or you're into photography i i don't know is this the death of these jobs or is this the death of people painting stuff because right now if you want to go by any art style all you have to do is just simply click and it is going to cre recreate this image using the exact filter that we have selected all right so once we do that you can see that this image right now is being replicated by the image which we have selected and 
just to put things into perspective a little bit more you can still choose to use your own images that you have downloaded from the internet and if you go over and hit browse and upload a certain image or the image which you have so let's just do one real quick and i'm just going to go ahead and select this particular image which i downloaded of google and simply select ok and upload this if I click on this particular image, what I'm going to get is it's going to go ahead, take a look at the image which I have uploaded, the field, the color choices that exist in this image, and it's going to generate another image for me. Right now, there are certain things which I wish we can have. Things like eraser, there is no eraser here, but you can play with the brush, all right? I was also trying to see if I can work with my pen tablet because i'm using one here so i was thinking if i can use the pen but all i could get is directly on the browser i could just only use it to scroll up and down so i don't know if it's the problem from my pen display or if it is a general problem with everyone but so far so good this works very well with the mouse and it's something i would suggest that you guys can go ahead you know and play with next off is if you want to recreate something or let's say you just want the computer to create something brand new for you all right you don't want to stress your memory you don't want to stress your brain to create very interesting stuff you want the computer to do this job for you this is how you can get this thing started so i'm just going to go ahead and click new and load up a landscape image now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead take a look at this and create some sort of segmentation maps so i'm selecting this iStock image and i'm just going to go ahead and hit the word upload so once i hit upload it's going to analyze that image number one and it's going to create some sort of segmentation map so you can see all of the segmentations around here all right so it's just predicting what should be placed where and you can see all of them have different colors, which simply means there are different properties that is existing here. I can go ahead and push this particular button and it's going to generate or reinterpret this image for me. And you can see how close this looks. I mean, if I come here and simply select this image and let's just push, push it by one of the sides, okay? So let's uh, just grab this image here. You can see it did a very, not perfect, but a very, very nice job you know, to interpret this image as best as it can. So this is something that we should all look out for because these guys are doing something really impressive. Link to how you can get this thing is going to be in the description just in case you want to learn or just in case you want to get more information about this. And once you're done with this, what you can do is you can go ahead, hit the download button. And of course you can see a couple which I've downloaded before and you can go ahead and download these things and they come in a five a, a 512 i guess a 512 by a 512 pixel size which is pretty impressive i mean definitely they're going to work these things all the way up and make it way better but as it is in beta it simply means that there is still a whole lot of work going towards this stuff if you want to also upload a certain painting you can hit that painting here and let's say i can go ahead and pick up this particular one and use this all right as a painting to drive the look of this so if you have a painting you can use this as a, a painting to drive you know the look of how you want this thing to be so you can either choose to make use of a cubic painting or you can go ahead and find an art nouveau painting or maybe paintings like this and use them to influence how this looks so is this the death of artists is this the, the death of people that spend so much time to create content or you know make amazing painting make canvas painting because very literally you can go ahead doodle whatever you want directly here i mean if you have a core principles but you don't really have the artistic skill to actually make these things work you can go over to a page like this or to maybe a software like that exists like this for free on the internet do do whatever you want and create something that would be maybe perceived as a masterpiece when this app becomes fully fully you know blown up and fully developed and maybe if it is still public and tell me what you guys think about these things i would like to know what you think about this things in the comment section and not long ago we saw something that has to do with photoshop and we've also seen a huge advancement from the guys at nvidia when they've created other things that can actually analyze the human face and recreate human faces and all that stuff. 
So I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit the like button and also turn on the notification. If you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video, the next episode of anything that's coming up for you guys. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.